hearing schedule this morning, but we've got a couple of things that we have to hear before that because of the time issues. So if you'll bear with me. Um, and we'll start the hearing as quickly as possible. I have no pen. Oh, thank you. Okay, the court will call the case. Are you ready? Okay. Let's call um, Brown versus Brown. and furnish to each of you a copy of the respondent's criminal records check. For whatever reason, I don't have that this morning to give to each of you. I'm going to ask that each of you raise your right hand, and I'll ask you to swear or affirm that the testimony you give today will be true and accurate to the best of your knowledge and belief. Yes, ma'am. All right. And ma'am, for the record, your name is? Danielle Nicole Brown. And sir, your name? Eric Scott Brown. In your petition, ma'am, you indicated that you are you are married to one another. We are, yes. And you said that on December 28, 2019, in Spencer County, the respondent engaged in acts of domestic violence abuse in that having been married since 1, 1, 11, have been abused since the beginning of the relationship. Multiple witnesses over the years for his behavior and abuse. Over the last few weeks, we have some additional situations arise. On Monday, December 16th, around 8 a.m., I confronted Eric about a text message from his girlfriend. Eric was in the shower. He jumped out of the shower and chased me in the living room to get his phone. He proceeded to put his hand on my throat and squeeze until I released the phone. This was witnessed by, by our six-year-old, Luke. On December 23rd, around 1 a.m., Eric went into Ethan's room because he heard him cuss on his Xbox. He proceeded to grab Ethan up out of his bed, leaving marks on his shoulders and arms, and put him into a headlock, cutting off his breath. Ethan was extremely upset and scared. I threatened to call the police, and he left the house. Eric said at that time he is the law and would not get into trouble, that he would say it was self-defense. On December 28th, around 8.30 a.m., while I was trying to leave the house because of an argument, Eric followed me out of the house to my car. I tried to get into my car, and he drove me out of the car. We were fighting for my phone, and he took his hands and squeezed my head as hard as he could to try to get me to release the phone. All right. Anything else you want me to know today, ma'am? Um, I I feel like I was very angry. Um, I did try to have the EPO dismissed that night. Um, I did call the sheriff, Scott Herman, and ask for him not to transmit, but unfortunately it had already been transmitted um, and signed by, by the judge, I think, at 3 a.m., and I think I called him around 2 a.m. Um, I think that we have had a lot of issues the past couple of weeks. Um, I was angry um, just from things that I have found and things that have occurred. And with talking with my kids, I've spent the past couple of days doing some soul searching for myself and talking with my kids and talking to them about these situations. And I do not feel that there is a danger in my home. Are you asking me to dismiss this today, ma'am? Yes, ma'am, I am. All right. Now, has the cabinet become involved? No, ma'am. Okay. The cabinet's going to need to get involved okay. because it sounds like you've, you've certainly made allegations of abuse mm -hmm. against your husband. Um, and those allegations have to be investigated by the cabinet. I'm happy to dismiss this petition by, with a note to the cabinet to uh, investigate. Yes, ma'am. Um, you are, have you reported to the cabinet? I have not. You know you're required by law to do so. I did not know that. Yes, all of us okay. in the room are required by law to report abuse or neglect of a child. Okay, so dismissed at the request of the petitioner. Thank you. 
and some presence of children. <coughs> What I'll do is I'll ask you folks to have a seat and I'll uh, see if we can't get a cabinet lover to come down here. Okay. All right. Thank you folks. Go have a seat.